okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a block moving with the initial speed v is brought to the rest after traveling a distance d by a force frictional force f a second identical block moving with the initial speed u is brought to rest in the same distance d by a frictional force f by 2 what is u okay what is actually happening in this question the, what is happening here is that there is this uh, surface and there is this body this body is now trying to move over this surface but there is a friction on this surface this body is given the velocity v somehow and obviously after some time it will it will cover some distance and after some time it will come to the rest so at this point it comes to the rest so all of the kinetic energy is lost but where is it lost now see there has to be a work done against friction because there is a friction so work done against friction although i can directly provide you with a formula that it was always equal to minus f into d but i would be explaining you also that why it is minus f into d see the general formula of work is f into s cos theta where f is the force that is acting on the body in this case there is only one board one force that is acting and that is friction and the distance traveled will be taken as d and the angle between these two is 180 degree you can see that for this particular body the motion is in the forward direction but the force is acting in the reverse direction so the angle between these two is 180 degree so this is negative work done why negative because force is in the backward direction but still the body is moving in the forward direction in such a case we call it negative work done so our work done here will become minus f into d we can use the formula directly also minus f into d so the work is done by the body now but from where the energy is coming always if the work is done there has to be loss of energy so definitely there is an energy which is lost and that is kinetic energy so i can say that half m v square it is lost in minus f and d so this becomes our first case because it is saying that the body is moving with the velocity v friction is f and the distance traveled is d now what is the second case according to the second case the same body is moving with the velocity u but now only half of the friction is sufficient to stop the body in the same distance so it will be minus f by 2 into d so now we just need to find the ratios you need to find u in the terms of v how can we do this by dividing 2 with 1 so dividing 2 with 1 we get half m u square divided by half m v square is equal to minus f by 2 t divided by minus f d so everything get cancelled and it will come out to be half so here these two things are getting cancelled so u square divided by v square is 1 by 2 so there's no space here now so u by v i have just taken the square root on both of the sides of the equation from here we can say that u will be equal to v divided by root 2 so in this case our answer becomes p so this is how we do it there is a very important concept that the work done against friction is equated with the initial kinetic energy of the body this is the closing concept of this question so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also tell your friends about this channel all the best